Hi, my name is Christoph Schwartz from Click. I would like to show you how you can add custom colors to dimensions and to measures in Click Sense. If you go to Edit Mode, most charts start with the color setting Automatic, which uses a single color only. You can change this to By Dimension, and you have two color schemes to pick from which assigns randomly 12 or 100 colors to the dimension values of that chart. The assignment of colors goes by sort order, and that bears a surprise. If you use that setting in multiple charts, the same dimension value does not necessarily get the same color assigned in the other chart, because each chart assigns the color individually. Moreover, if you start selecting values, the colors got reordered, so the dimensions pick a different color now. There is a simple trick to fix that. Just remember, whenever you choose by dimension in the color settings, also check mark persistent colors. What that does is a mapping of all possible values of that dimension to one color throughout the entire application, across all charts. With this setting persistent color, no matter which I am going to select now, that color stays sticky to the same value. The color only changes when, due to a reload, the number or the sequence of the values of that dimension have changed. So let's take this a step further and assign custom, not random colors to the dimension values, which will no more change with a reload. Let's say you always like Austria to appear in red and USA in gray. OK, then you need to introduce master items if you haven't done so before. Let's add the field country as a master item. You can call it differently if you want so. Then click Add Dimension. When you go back and re-enter the dimension, you will then see the new value colors tab in here which was introduced with the Sense June 2017 edition. Here you can match certain values to certain colors. You may also choose the color from the color wheel or enter the hex code if you have it ready. Still, this color mapping shows no effect. The reason is, you need to use the dimension from the master items, but we have only just introduced it. So we have used the field name before in the charts. Let's go back and edit the chart and drag and drop the dimension and replace the field customer.country. You also need to do that in the color setting. Pick the master item dimension in place where it still contains the field name. Now it picks the colors as you centrally defined them in the master items. The colors will now be sticky wherever you, you use the dimension from master items. And this is another good reason for using master items. In the second part, I like to show you how you can map colors to measures. I have two measures here. One measure is called sales, and I'd like that to always appear in, say, orange. Let's do that. You have to go via master items again. When you define a measure in the master items, you have the possibility to add a color. Whenever you use that measure in a chart, instead of defining the formula directly in the chart, it will automatically pick the color you set in the master items. The second measure, number of orders, I set to be purple. When I drag and drop this on the chart, I will get that measure in purple as expected. That measure color does not only apply to line charts, of course. Any measure in any chart would pick that color, like the KPI object. 
And this concludes my little color tutorial. And with that, I'd like to thank Christoph for his valuable contribution to the Click community. Please check out these other great resources, including the Click Continuous Classroom, for all your training needs. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also join the conversation with myself, Christoph, and others in the Click community. Thanks for your time, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.